Hello again, students. Let's do the Gorilla Glue Handshake. That sounds intimidating. Um, start with x squared plus 18x minus 17 equals 0. Initiate the complete the square method of solving. So, hey, here we go. Take a look. Here's all the steps you need to do. I don't think we need to go too far. I think we just need to get to step 3. So, here we go. Initiate to complete the square. All right, so the first thing is we need to get x squared and bx alone and make space. So, uh, minus 17... Uh, you got to go, bro. So to get rid of that, we would add 17 to both sides, add 17 to both sides. So we'd have a positive 17 on the right. Then we would want to complete the square by adding half B squared to both sides. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 squared is 81. So we would dump an 81 in there. Now over here, you need to rewrite it as 17 plus 81. What does that actually turn into? That would turn into 98, I believe. Here we go. So you actually need to add there. So you would add and simplify. So you would do step two and you know add the b divided by two squared to both sides, but actually rewrite it as a number. Since there's only one blank, you want to write it as just one number. Okay. Next move. We probably want to rewrite the trinomial as a binomial squared. Okay, so x squared plus 18x plus 81 used to be x plus 9 squared. And guess what? That still equals 98. Okay, cool. There you go. Now, we would do steps 4, 5, and 6 if we were to completely complete the square. But we're just initiating. So we're getting past the first three steps on this question. The Gorilla Glue handshake. All right, cool. Uh, that's about it. Um, so just follow the steps. Uh, make space, add b divided by 2 squared, rewrite as a trinomial. You're going to get the same number here and here. All right, cool. See you in class, students.